Hey now, welcome back to the Lisa Dukes channel. I want to take this time and wish a few people a happy Mother's Day. Mother's Day is tomorrow, May 9th, uh, 2021, in Jesus' name. And possibly I have a few items I'd like to show you. And um, be right back. Okay, um, I'm going to try to be brief as I can. Um, I like to wish, I like to wish Sweet City J a happy Mother's Day. I thank and praise God for a very short time of um, knowing you um, and you're just someone I consider a very personal friend and, and you, you know, even though we're connected through YouTube. I really pray that you have a beautiful, blessed holiday and sincerely that you feel loved. i like to wish uh, Emma from the Mount Montgomery Family Channel a happy, blessed, prosperous, well, you know what she needs, Mother's Day in Jesus' name. Pray that you feel loved and adored, appreciated, especially by your grandchildren, your, your children, your daughter your family because God knows you are one in a million and we love you. We thank and praise God for knowing you by way of YouTube. We thank and praise God for you reaching out to us uh, about three or four years ago now and just saying hi. And I really didn't think anyone would notice me on YouTube with all the vast amount of people, but you did. So I thank and praise God for you and having your friendship through this platform. Praise God in Jesus' name. Amen. i like to wish uh, Miss Shauna from uh, Sean, uh, what is it, Hanging with the Shoemakers? She changed the name a little bit. Um, her neck, correct me in the comments. I thank and praise God for you. Um, wow, I, God just opened doors to new friendships for me uh, last year, 2020, and now 2021. And I thank God for you being another close personal friend. Just, wow, I don't know. I just want you to just say how much I love you and how much I'm praying for you. It's so important at times to have somebody that is kind of going through uh, the same thing to really know what it is to to um, be like you, know what you're going through, just something. But we just look to God. We, we trust our God and we look to the Lord. God knows our sincerest heart's desires, but most importantly for everyone that I'm greeting on today, I wish you a happy Mother's Day. I pray that all souls that don't know the Lord can come to Christ in Jesus' name. Pray that if I, I don't even know your family that well, but I know, Shauna, that they love you. God knows they love you and adore you. And hey, just keep on reciprocating with mama some gifts because, you know, that helps a little bit of adoration in Jesus' name. Love you and thank God for your husband too. And so from there we go to Brown Eyes on a Budget. I'm doing my best not to forget anyone and have wrote any names down. And I started to, I'm like, no, I'm going to remember. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I want to greet, praise the Lord for Brown Eyes on a Budget. Just thinking about you, Brown Eyes, you just remind us of sweet potato pie, you know. And for those that love it, pumpkin pie, you know, just apple, but just love. Mm. Brown Eyes is definitely a loving person. You may not know her, but I tell you, you won't take long to know her if you know you got the, you got the, what is it, the thought is? If you got the, it's not coming. <laughs> if you got the, the, the gumption of a goat, something like that, I can't, can't click it. But you, you don't, it doesn't take long to, to know um, Brown Eyes. If you really spend time watching her channel, you may not have the privilege. Of, I don't have, I've not met her personally, but through uh, media outlets. Um, but, you know, just be around her, be around you, and to talk with you one on one, it's been a blessing. And God knows with all I have, with all the gumption I have, I truly wish you a happy Mother's Day in Jesus' name. I know. Your family adores you, and I know when that, that little boy of yours gets bigger, he's just going to just bombard you with all the love and joy and everything, because it's just a blessing to um, 
to be around you and know you. And we truly wish you a happy Mother's Day. And um, yeah, all these women, I enjoy their channel. I don't want them to forget anybody. I got I to gotta do it brown eyes and budget, budget words. Moving on. I got to move. Gotta move. Let's move on. I do not want to forget to wish um, aged graceful. All I can say is wow. Um, met her. Someone might have recommended her or I might have caught her somehow in the feed trying to learn how to apply um, uh, learn how to apply eyeshadow. That was that's my biggest qualm. I'm, I'm learning how to do the eyebrows. I'm learning how to drop my little cut my little eyebrow and then just draw them in. Anyway, I want to wish Aged Graceful a very happy Mother's Day in Jesus' name. She got married this year. Hallelujah! That's very very exciting and it was a beautiful ceremony. As much as she allowed us to see, you know, it was a very um, beautiful, intimate, precious time. So we wish you a happy Mother's Day and believing that. You will have a beautiful time on Sunday. In Jesus' name, we just thank and praise God for your friendship. We thank and praise God for your love. We thank and praise God for how you try to include us in certain things. I don't know what's going on with my email. But I pray you have a very happy Mother's Day. In Jesus' name. And continue, not that you need help, but continue uh, loving and enduring your new husband. In Jesus' name. Now. Doing my best not to forget anybody. Oh, my new friend, um, Linda. I believe it's Linda Joseph. She has a YouTube channel. I thank and praise God for you. New friend of, as of this year. And just God, you know. Sometimes you see someone in the feed and in your comments. And you get curious. You look them up. And you're like, oh, they have a channel. Or they might not have a channel, but they may be in other places. Um, we thank and praise God for you. We pray that you have a glorious, wonderful as much as your heart can hold, uh, Mother's Day in Jesus' name, knowing that your family loves you very much. And we thank and praise God and we keep you in our prayers. And just have a, have a glorious time and just build a flower in your hair, honey. This is Mother's Day, so everybody just fall in line and just, just, you know. It's so important to take these times and just let someone know how much you love and care for them in Jesus' name. There are a vast amount of people that um, have won giveaways, and we'd like to wish all of you a very happy Mother's Day. It's like one in my head right now, but I, I believe we're going to get your name wrong, so I'm not even going to try. But I want to wish everyone a happy Mother's Day. Anyone else I can think of? Um, have not spoken to her on, on like FaceTime or anything like that, but her name is... Um, Annette, the encourager, we like to, I believe she has one child, and uh, we like to wish her a happy Mother's Day in Jesus' name. She's very close to where I live, and she's wonderful on YouTube, and, and, and she definitely gives you encouragement. Some of you may already know her, but we wish her a happy, blessed, just beautiful, and just beautiful. If you just, if the mothers sleep in, if they're able to bring, if someone can bring them breakfast, if they have to just get up and make their own breakfast, just want you to have a happy day. Just may God smile down on you, fill your heart with joy, fill your heart with his word, fill your heart with praise to God, because it's, it's, it's because of God we are able to do all things, so, and to be a mother, and I guess I'll get to that. Um, is there anyone else? Oh, Lord, please and encourage. I just want to wish everyone a happy Mother's Day. picture but in case she's watching i like to wish my mom a happy mother's day a lot of people say i look a lot like her i always say nine months you know we've been left for a kid and um i look like her i probably act, act a lot like my dad but um i want to wish my mom happy mother's day i thank you praise god for having a mother and the mother's day can be a very painful time for a lot of people a very close personal friend has lost her mother uh, not too long ago this year because we're only in May, right? This is the fifth month. And she may God help her uh, and family as they grapple with that moment. But I thank and praise God for everyone that has been here for the Lisa Luke's channel. And I just really, again, want to wish everyone a 
have me just heart full of joy, even if it is packed up, just somehow, some way, let the joy of the Lord be our strength in Jesus' name. So, I'm going to share with you a few items. This one I'm going to wear tomorrow. I got this from Target. It is not beige, but an off-white. So, this is our sleeve. This is our sleeve. Beautiful. And this is the, it's just, it's just gonna, it doesn't button. But I can just kind of close it up if I want to. And it goes like this at the very bottom. So this is the, what I'm going to be wearing on the back. Just keep it from the back. And this is the very bottom. Okay. So just, that's something new. I'm going to, a new item. I'm going to basically wear white. God has me in white. So I'm going to wear what God told me to wear. And this is an off-white material. I got that from Target weeks ago. Um, what I'll do this one next. I got and showed you the things uh, Wet n' Wild released this year. Mainly everything is kind of releasing I'm trying to get because it's the year of my birthday. So I showed you Patrick and Spongebob. I showed you that. I got, I got those already. I got that. But I wanted to add just two more things from the collection. I didn't really want the makeup because it's nice, but it stains. And some makeup really stains your your eyes or wherever you place it. And wet wild is cool, but it, these are only, only four pieces I wanted. So the other pieces I did not have is the um, Krabby Patty. <laughs> it's really small. It's really small. They sometimes look so huge on YouTube, but they this is very small. And it has the bun, the lettuce, the little Krabby Patty, Krabby Patty inside it. And I got I think I just this is up here where I can just look at it. If I ever use it, maybe, but for now, oh you can see the back what has it, what it has. For now, I'm just gonna leave it in its packaging because I enjoy that, you know. So shout out to our we're young adult children for loving SpongeBob because when this was released, I was like, oh, I have to have it. And I know they're going to do something else with um, the movie called Clueless, but I'm like, no, I don't know if I do. And the last piece I wanted was this, the, the pumpkin, the sponge case holder. Yeah, see that little happy packaging? Yes. And if you are looking for it, let's see. Right about now, it should be on the Wet n Wild website. Yeah, that's where it should be. I also got from Claire's, I didn't open this, but it comes in strawberry, vanilla, and cherry flavor. Strawberry, vanilla, and cherry flavor. And these are just, I guess, cats with um, eyelashes is why I like it. And one has a uni one's a unicorn, one has just a simple crown. You can possibly see that. I just like it. I have a white one too, but I haven't used it yet. I think it's the white one is vanilla or strawberry. But that's nice. I like that. That's adorable. It'll sit up till I want to use it. And lastly, I have been into these. I might have shown it, but not this one. I've shown it. Kinda a little, yeah, I think I showed one when I was doing my skincare. I'm pausing because I'm like, is there anything else I forgot to show? Well, we'll see. Anyway, this is my new Pusheen. That's the name of the this item out of Claire's. Ah, can you stand it? It's the, it's the color of my birthday colors. That was part of it. I kept a little tag on it because this is where they started. It started out on um, as a um, what do they call it? A what is it called? It's an emoji. Okay, it was like right there. It started as an e it's an emoji. I don't think they still use it. A little fat cat, but they someone with good sense came up with this, and I saw the Pusheens on on YouTube last year, twenty twenty late last year, like November, December, and I don't know, and it has a nice little tail, so I think I might have shown a light pink one, so 
So I started off with a light pink one. I got a little yellow one. Then I got one like this. But I actually, my, my actual first one um, is brown. And it comes with a little friend. It was for my birthday. Oh, the thing is so terrible. Yeah, that's what I'm going to show you. The little machine from Claire's. You can most likely order them if you don't have a Claire's value. It has like a little beanie material at the bottom just in case you want to sit it down or put it back in this little place. I don't know. Um, so you really into these this year. Like, I don't know. They bring me joy. Praise God. So I'm thinking, trying to make sure is there anything I need to show you? God forbid if there is, I probably will forget. Oh yeah, I did get a little thing from Ulta. Thank you, Lord. You bring it back to my attention. I got it. Buried it in my mind. From Zoeva. I've been wanting to use this. Try this brand out. I know. You can see me. Um, this is just a simple bronzer highlighter. It's in rose gold packaging. I'm just going to put my hand over the mirror. So it's rose gold packaging. I haven't really used it. It says, um, so what's it say on the bottom? It says, shine your light. No, share your light. curious about the Zoeva brand but I said I wanted to get the um I wanted to get the eyeshadow excuse me I'm trying to get the I must be either tired or close to time to eat and I do have to cook something so, yeah. so um, I was like yeah I wanted to use I wanted to try their um eyeshadow but I said let me just get that and I thought I didn't know the little compact thing was gonna be so nice it's very nice Way nicer. Oh, what's well, here? I can show you real quick. I finally, and they do still have them in stock on Sephora. Uh, the lipsticks by Fenty that might have released last year. There's one. I might have showed this already. They're nice on my lips today. It smells like chocolate. I don't know what's with these brands of time. Yeah, this was one of the chocolate too. It's like a darker color. It smells like chocolate. What I'm wearing, I'm wearing, I might have showed this already, the Negligee Lip Balm by um, Huda Beauty. I'm going to make it today. I'm going to I have to be cleaned up, do my skincare. I'm sorry. So it's a glittery. It's glittery. I don't know if it helps with the hand over there. But it's a glittery. Yeah, you can kind of see a little bit. I mean, it puts glitter in your lips, but mm, I don't know. I don't know what all that is. It's a mm, mm, man, so so. I've been using a lot of my um, Dollar Tree uh, chapsticks and things more than anything because I don't can't wear too many lip things with the mask on and I don't when I come home and I'm really moisturized and while I'm home I moisturize so if I don't my lips get um not too pleasant <laughs> you know it's lips turning and flipping and you know bleeding you don't want you don't want none of that keep your keep your lip care going you may not be able to go a bunch of places but keep that going and I'm digging and looking I believe I've practically shown everything I can think of at the moment so with this vlog down i want to let you know it may be late but i'm still doing a um may giveaway i have to get the items because i don't want to announce the giveaway and not have my and not be prepared so guess what i've done that before and then waiting for shipping you know you never know when there's a surge in um, mail and what you're waiting for you think it's gonna take maybe eight days it's gonna take two two weeks it's like whoa like, or, or a tad long which is outrageous so um yeah um nothing else
else to really record. I just thank and praise God. Did I ever say it already? Well, thank God. Praise God for being able to meet me and mom. I'm just going through my mind trying to remember everything I need to, to say today. But um, yeah, I'm going to get maybe late, God forbid, but I'm going to do continue my giveaways for May and June, July, and my birthday. But I want to make sure I get the items. I'm going to have three uh, people for this one for May. And I just want to get my items. And even if I announce it late, almost near, you know, the end of the month, I, I'm still going to make sure I get it done because um, that's my my joy. I, I you know I prayed and prayed and prophesied and said all these things, but I want to make sure I continue moving and uh, keeping my word to you guys. So don't forget, don't think I forgot because I have not forgotten. I have little boxes prepared, um, but I just need the items, so I can't wait. You know, there's certain things I want to pick out, but if I'm not able to get the exact thing I want, then I'll just opt and try to find another way to do it. But I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it done. I, I need to get this done. It's been exciting. And even my husband is excited. He's so excited because, you know, he's usually the guy that goes and takes the packages to the um, post office and send them out and make sure I wrap them a certain way. He's, he's just he's just funny. But, um, let's see. I don't think there's anything else I'm preparing for Mother's Day and getting my, my attire together. Um, you know, we're going to have a, a very cold Mother's Day where I live. And um, usually I take a picture. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. I'm a little this way with Mother's Day. I'm like, I don't really want all the honor. I just thank God for the, for the, for the privilege of just to know what it is from from carrying a child or wanting to have a child and carrying a child and caring for the child up to 18 and it's just a blessing and all I can do is just continue to be the mother that um, I would want you know and tell you what the truth you know not everyone wants to hear the truth sometimes they want you to kind of smooth it over but they always say tell the truth and shame the devil so happy Mother's Day to everyone. Don't get in a woosaka. Don't get in in no play. Don't get in no play. We thank God for the moment, for the privilege, and we we know it was God. We know it was God. It was not flesh, but it was God that gave us the know-how, the wherewithal. Because God knows when we had our first child in '91, and then we delivered our third child in '93. All I can say is the H word, how. But before I could get out of my hospital bed, God had gave us a plan for action, so I was ready to go. So um, I thank and praise God for everyone, and I really pray you have a wonderful Mother's Day. I think we're already there. Happy Mother's Day Eve to everyone, and see y'all relatively soon. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen, amen.